I tore apart two laptop batteries and found this. They are 2200mAh lithium-ion cells. One of them is a Samsung ICR 18650-22H and another one is a LG DAS31865. Using a multimeter, I took the readings of each cell and kept the ones that have voltage range greater than 2 volts. I thought of making a battery pack out of them by connecting them in a configuration of 3S and 2P. And to do that, we will require 3 multiplied by 2, that is 6 cells. Firstly, I will connect 2 cells in parallel and obtain 3 batteries, and then I will connect them in series. But before connecting them in parallel, please check that the voltage range of the two cells are close to each other. And if it is not so, please charge the cell with lower reading with a lithium ion battery charger. For the ease of soldering, I decided to make a battery holder. For that, I took a wood piece 2 cm wide and 5 mm thick. I marked 2 inches from one end and cut it using a hacksaw. After then, I repeated the process 5 times to get wood pieces like this. I marked the spot for two batteries and their centers as well, which will guide during the drilling process. Using a 5mm drill bit, I drilled two pilot holes in the center marked on the wood pieces previously. This will help us in enlarging the holes so that our batteries can fit in the wood pieces easily. Then using an 18mm drill bit, I tried to enlarge the holes and made this instead. Instead of waiting for a battery holder to arrive, I used electrical tape to hold the batteries. I applied solder to each terminal of each cell so that I can easily solder wire to them. Using a 1.5 square mm wire, I joined the positive to positive and negative to negative of the batteries so that they are connected in parallel and I did the same to the other 4 batteries. It's time to stack them together so that they can be connected in series. To do so, I used the wood pieces I cut previously. I applied hot glue to one side and stick it tightly to one side of the battery and repeated the procedure for the other side. After doing it one more time, I got this. Please keep in mind the orientation of the batteries. The middle battery must be in opposite orientation than the other two, so that they can be easily connected in series. This is the circuit I came up with for our purpose. These are the two cells connected in parallel to form batteries. Across these terminals, you will get the output voltage that is 12.6 volts. The two circles here are the two poles of a double pole double throw switch. This is the DPDT switch we will be using. And these are the two poles of this switch. This terminal will be connected to any one pole of the switch and the other terminal will be connected to other pole of the switch. These four circles are the four throws of the switch. Two throws on any one side are shorted by using a wire, while the other end is connected to a TP4056 lithium ion battery charger. Same connection is done in this side also. When both the poles of both the switches are connected to this terminal, all the batteries will be connected in series and we get a 12.6 volt in the output. But when we flip both the switches, each battery will be separately connected to the charger module. I connected everything according to the circuit diagram I made and it is working perfectly. I flipped both of the switches and after connecting a 5V charger to any one of the TP4056 charger, the battery starts charging. Perfect! For an enclosure, I used this box which has a hole in the middle and the batteries can fit inside perfectly. I marked the places for the DPDT switches and drilled it using a 6mm drill bit. I made another hole right next to the first hole. Then I desoldered all the four wires from four poles of the two DPDT switches. I removed the nuts from the switches, put it inside the box and then tied them from the outside. I shortened every wire, stripped the insulation and then soldered it to their respective places. Now it's time to add some protection to our battery pack. I soldered the wire to the battery pack using 1.5 square mm and 0.75 square mm wires. I used 0.75 square mm wires for the voltage levels 3.6 and 7.2 volts. Using a 1.5 square mm wire, I soldered a red and a black wire to the output of the BMS, which will provide us 12.6 volts. I guided everything out of the box using the hole which is in the top of the box. The output voltage and the battery chargers will be accessible right from here. I labeled everything and hot glued the chargers on the top of the box. 
and also the connections of the batteries to the lithium ion chargers. Later, I added a buck converter with a USB socket and a switch for the purpose of mobile charging. Thank you guys for watching. More details can be found in the video description and please consider subscribing because more videos are coming on the other. Till then, bye bye.